space is everywhere. So this means that space belongs to everyone. So this is something quite unique. And space is something that can bring people together from different countries, uh, with different characteristics. So this is why I'm interested in space. My name is Maximilian Berthe. I'm a PhD student in aeronautics and astronautics, and I'm in my final year. Um, my research is about small satellite design and simulation. So small satellites are satellites that weigh less than 100 kilograms, typically, and I'm interested in how these spacecraft interact with the environment in space. More specifically, I'm interested in how we can use uh, flexible structures, so, so like an umbrella kind of uh, thing. You can imagine an umbrella being stowed, and then you expand the umbrella. Um, and by expanding the area of the satellite, it becomes easier to interact with the atmosphere uh, around the Earth. Uh, and the second effect I'm interested in is how we can use solar radiation pressure. So the sun emits photons, right, particles, and these particles are going to touch a satellite, they push the satellite. And I'm interested in studying this uh, effect in my research. Right, so simulation is one requirement, but of course I need some data from space eventually. So fortunately my laboratory conducted a mission a few years ago in 2017. So they released a satellite from the International Space Station and this satellite deployed a kind of umbrella type device. Uh, so this is very similar to my research and I was able to use the data from this mission uh, to compare with my simulation. After finishing the model, I curiously opened the experimental data. I was really hoping that it would be the same, you know, and I plotted both curves on the same plot and it was almost identical. So that was really satisfying uh, and it took a really long time to get to that point. So that, I think that's one of the highlights of my research so far. When I was little, my, it was Christmas, and my mom gave me some cassettes about space. So cassettes, before DVDs, there were cassettes that you had to rewind when you finished watching them. So I received two cassettes, so with eight hours about space. Um, and I remember watching them uh, at Christmas. Uh, twice I watched the cassettes. And uh, that's when I really became interested in space, I think. Uh, after watching, I remember making a small book so uh, I painted each of the planets, and uh, this is Mars, uh, this is Venus, and uh, yeah, this was the starting point for my interest. Um, and then I sort of forgot about space for a while. When I did my bachelor's, I was focusing more on mechanical engineering because I thought it would be more practical and maybe give me some skills that I could use more easily in, my, in a job. Um, but then I realized that actually engineering is also useful for space. Uh, and I discovered that I'd already learned some skills I would need to study space. And I decided finally I'm ready to study space engineering. Uh, so this is when I applied to the University of Tokyo. And so I applied to the Department of Aeronautics and Astronautics. Um, and I found my professor's lab, the Kojiro Suzuki lab. His research on uh, how satellites interact with the atmosphere was very interesting for me. Um, and I remember seeing his photo on the website actually and you know really smiling and uh, I could feel his passion for this subject um, so the subject itself was important for me but his personality uh, was also important and that's why I chose uh, to study at the University of Tokyo yeah. so I think one point about Japan in general and also Todai is the fact that you're given lots of freedom Typically in Europe or the US, you're assigned a small task on a project. But in my experience in the University of Tokyo, researchers are given more freedom to work on a topic of their choice. So this was a great way to learn how to not only solve a problem, but also identify the problem, frame the problem. Um, so I think this is something very valuable about the University of Tokyo. The chance not only to do research, but to formulate the research yourself. Of course, it, there are some negatives as well with this. It means that sometimes you can feel very alone and stuck. And in situations like that, it's really up to you to overcome the problems. So those are two aspects of this freedom. Um, but overall, I would say it's a very good chance to develop yourself in many ways um, through the research process. 
something I realized is that uh, Tokyo is a big city, so I imagined you know very active and energetic environment. But actually, I realized that um, as an international student, it can be a little bit intimidating sometimes. Tokyo, uh, you can feel a little bit alone, uh, even though it's a very big city. And one way I tried to overcome this was by joining activities in the university. So I had the chance to. Uh, contribute to a project on gender equality at the university. Uh, so this was a nice way to meet a community of people who also were interested in this issue. And another way was um, staying in a student dorm in the university actually. So I, I've lived in two dormitories, two dormitories, yes, two dormitories in the university. Uh, so that, that's been a really nice way to meet people uh, and to cook together, uh, to learn about Japanese cooking and cooking from other countries. <laughs> okay. Yeah, unfortunately my skills are still limited, but uh, I enjoy making um, buta shoga yaki, for example. Space is everywhere. Um, so this means that space belongs to everyone. So this is something quite unique. When technology is developed on Earth, it's located in one specific country or one specific location. Uh, but space is uh, something that belongs to everyone. Um, so this means that many countries participate in a single space project and space is something that can bring people together from different countries uh, with different characteristics. So for me space is um, not only about technology but it's about connecting people and um, uh, cultures and ways of thinking. Um, so this is why I'm interested in space because it's not only about technology, it's about much more than just technology.